Hi everybody, welcome to this new video. As the title indicates, in this video I'm going to tell you about the 20 most common design terms so that you can work better around designers or you can be a better designer or you can just learn about the field a little more. Uh, now the video is going to be split into two parts. The first part is going to be about these 20 words and what they mean and the second part is going to be a translation of 20 words from English to French. Uh, just so, you know, that people who are juggling between designing in French and English have an easier time with these different terms. Alright, I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome to Design Education with Mia. I'm not going to pretend that I've memorized all of the words, so I'm going to read off of this and then explain stuff. So, let's get started. The first word is design, obviously, because it's the center of our topic. Design comes from the term dessiner in French, which means to draw. It's a creation of something. It's the creation of new products to their form and function. A product. The word product can refer to a physical product, a digital product, a service, a system. Product design. So product design, also industrial design, is the creation of new concepts of design for everyday use. Design thinking. Design thinking is a design methodology that enables you to break down your design process into different parts that are going to lead you to the product uh, that's going to respond well to the brief. It's multiple steps that lead you to develop a product that's realistic and marketable. Analysis. Analysis is the first step of the design thinking methodology. It's where you do a bunch of research around a product and you analyze what you've learned. So for example, if we take this computer mouse, what we, we, what, what we would need to do in the analysis phase is look at the history of a computer mouse, for example, how it's evolved, what are the functionalities, who uses this product, how often do they use it. All these different questions around the computer mouse are going to lead us to understand the situation better and create a list of specifications. Specifications is like a list of rules that you need to follow in order to respond correctly to the brief and also respond correctly to the problem at the heart of the project. And it's a list that's going to grow as you continue to analyze the product. It's a list where you're going to add things that are necessary. So for example, the computer mouse, you can, for example, add a specification that wasn't given to you uh, that says, for example, that the computer mouse should not be bigger than, you know, the average adult's hand. This is a specification. Next word is mood board. It can be anything that kind of shows, that conveys the tone, the atmosphere, the mood around your project or your product. So for example, if you want to create something that's warm and fuzzy, then for example, your mood board can have a bunch of teddy bears, uh, maybe a cup of coffee to show like something warm, like a warm summer day, a picture of the sun. It needs to convey all of these different elements. And so you can, you can use textures, colors, text, pictures, anything to convey these different uh, moods that you want to create. Our next word is ideation. Ideation is the next step in your design thinking methodology. Ideation is where you're going to start putting your ideas to paper, look at the different directions that you can take, look at, look at different forms and see what you can, you know, what, what you can offer as a solution to the problem. It's kind of like a general brain, brainstorming of ideas. Next word is thumbnail sketching. Thumbnail sketching is basically a bunch of little ideas that you throw around that you just draw on the same piece of paper or whatever and uh, basically they're going to lead you to more concrete ideas. Prototype. A prototype is a model that's used to test the different functionalities of a product. So if we take our handy computer mouse again and we look at this mouse we can create a prototype of this mouse to make sure that it fits my hand correctly, that it clicks well, that it rolls well, that you know all of the things, all of the components are working correctly. So you can start prototyping in the middle of your project in order to test out your different ideas and see which works best before you do your final prototype. And your final prototype is basically going to be as realistic as possible so you can make sure that your product is actually a realistic and marketable idea. Manufacturing. 
Manufacturing is a process through which you build your products. Manufacturing can refer to a large series of products, but it can also refer to a small series of products. CAD. CAD is computer-aided design. It refers to a software that helps you in your design process. For example, you have Rhino, Rhino 3D. It's a modeling software that helps you create 3D models of your products. Rendering. Rendering refers to an image in 2D or 3D uh, that basically helps convey the details of your final product. So if it's in 2D or 3D, uh, it can be a drawing or a 3D model that you add textures and colors to. It's also a step that can help you, uh, you know, decide which textures and which colors you want to use on your product. Aesthetic. Aesthetic refers to the enjoyment of beauty. It's something that is very subjective and it's kind of the reason why you would go to one designer instead of another um, is because they have a different style, a different way of executing, a different way of seeing the product and seeing the problem. Aesthetic is, yeah, it's, it, it refers to physical appearance of the product. Circular design is a component of circular economy. It's a way of applying circular economy. And circular design basically takes into account uh, the entire life cycle of your product instead of just uh, looking at, you know, manufacturing and making and selling. We look at where the, you know, where the, the material is coming from, how it's being transported to the manufacturing area, how the manufacturer is disposing of the waste products, how the manufacturer is delivering the product to the different areas where it's going to be sold. What happens when, after the buyer is done using the product, where does the product go? How is it recycled? Where, which landfill does it end, end up in? So it's all of these different components that we take into account. The next word is ergonomics. Ergonomics is basically the science of creating products that fit human proportions in a comfortable, safe, and effective way. If we take our mouse here, basically the ergonomics of this mouse is the fact that it fits into a human hand. So this, these, this area, this, this curve over here is made so that my thumb can fit there. Next word is user experience. User experience is the way that the, pro the product is going to interact with its user. The way that the user is going to understand how to use the product. The user experience is optimized if the different functionalities are intuitive to the user. What does this mean? To turn on this mouse, you need to slide this little thing. It's fairly intuitive. It says on over here. I know that I need to push it to turn it on. This is intuitive. This is the kind of thing that makes its that makes the product easy to use and that makes the user experience good. Commercialization. Commercialization is basically when a product is ready to be put on the market. Eco design is design uh, that takes into consideration the impact on the environment. And finally, our last word is exploded view. Exploded view is a way of representing a product, a drawing, in a way that shows all of the product's components in one page, on one drawing. So it's kind of like the product has been exploded open, that's why it's called an exploded view, and we can see all of the components that are inside the product. Okay, we're moving on to part two now. Now part two, the words, uh, when you translate them to French, some of the words are very similar, some of the words are the same, uh, because the French also use English words. It's more about knowing how to refer to the words that you mean to refer to. So it's more for like French people who want to switch to English or English speakers and English designers who are working with French designers. It's a way to also understand what the French designer means to say. So let's go through the list. And I mean, some of these are going to sound a little bit ridiculous, <laughs> but let's do it. Design is le design, easy. Product is un produit. Product design is design de produit. Now in French, design de produit still means product design as in physical product design. Prototype is prototype, easy. Ideation is ideation. Analysis is analyse. 
Design thinking is the same. Design thinking. Because it's a methodology, so it's kind of like a proper noun. Uh, CAD is modélisation in French. Specifications is cahier des charges. So this is a bit different. Commercialization is commercialisation. Circular design is design circulaire. Ergonomics is ergonomie. User experience is expérience utilisateur. User interface is interface utilisateur. Mood board is mood board. <laughs> Manufacturing is processus de fabrication. Rendering is rendu. Aesthetic is esthetic. And thumbnail sketching is dessin de recherche ou dessin d'analyse. All right, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned new things. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Uh, let me know what, you, what else you'd like to see. And I'll see you later.